so we are going to learn about Annika Montana uh, from Dr. N.M. Chaudhary's Medica Medica. I will try to stick to completely what Dr. N.M. Chaudhary has uh, taught about this remedy in his Materia Medica. So whenever uh, Dr. N.M. Chaudhary starts explaining about any remedy, he first gives an intro about the remedy in which he talks about the family of the remedy, the common name of the remedy and if it's a plant, where it grows. Okay, so with that basic information, he always like gives an introduction to the remedy. So about Arnica as well, he starts in the same way, telling us that it belongs to the Compositae family. Okay, Compositae family. The common name is Leopard's Bane and it grows on the mountainous regions of Europe. Alright, now he goes uh, further goes to the main part of the remedy, the main uses, the characteristic symptoms of the remedy. And he, here in Arnica, it, he goes and tell, goes ahead and tells us that it is the king of traumatic remedies. Okay, it is a king of traumatic remedies. Now, what is trauma? Trauma is injury, it's wounds. Okay, and Arnica is, uh, you know, Arnica has a central thing as trauma. So, whenever you hear the word Arnica, the first thing that should come to your mind is always going to be trauma. But the other thing that has happened is in colleges all over the years or all, or all over our college days, we always think of Arnica as a remedy for trauma. Even in our question papers, it is asked for trauma only. And that is why we tend to forget, we tend to ignore the other side of the aspects of Arnica. Yeah, it's obviously, uh, it's, a, it's, it's like obvious that no, trauma is a central thing to Arnica, but we shouldn't even forget or ignore the other parts. Like it, is, it can be used in pregnancy, it can be used in nephritis and kidney related issues, it can be even used in dyspepsia. And NM Chaudhary will further, you know, say uh, in uh, as we go ahead in the video, we will talk about all those aspects as well. And Dr. NM Chaudhary will, you know, compare and will like tell you that Arnica is as useful in dyspepsia as is carbovitch. So you can just now imagine how much useful it is in dyspepsia. But we never think of it in dyspepsia and we always think only of trauma. So yeah, you should never forget about trauma. But you should also remember about all those other things which we are going to talk about in this video. Okay, in a few minutes further. Okay, now this uh, remedy is uh, the king of traumatic. So why should it be the king? Because it is used in injuries of almost all kinds. So let's see, it's used in injuries of muscles, okay, it's, it's used in injuries of bones, which is fracture, nothing but fracture, injury of bones, okay. Then injuries, which is a type of injury is contusion and that type of injury is the main sphere of action of Arnica. So Arnica will act very well when the, pa when the patient has got a contusion, okay. What is a contusion now? Contusion or bruise, both are one and the same thing and it actually means that when you get a blow or an impact, okay, now suppose that this is my hand and you are getting this, now suppose that you are getting uh, an impact from a blunt instrument on my hand, okay. Now this blunt, what, what is the meaning of blunt instrument first of all? An instrument, an object which does not have any sharp edges or any pointed edges, any pointed um, nooks and corners, okay. So that um, instrument when it comes and hits on your uh, skin on your arm on your any body part what happens is the capillary is underneath this part okay the capillary is underneath this part now consider this as to be the ca that capillary which is present in under my skin over here okay what will happen is a blow will come on from outside and over here the skin is present and above from above if the blow comes what will happen is that blow will not rupture your skin will not break your skin because it is a blunt instrument, it is not a pointed instrument. So, most probably it won't uh, cut your skin, break your skin. But what happens is this blood vessel inside underneath your skin, this capillary un underneath your skin will get ruptured. Okay, the wall of this capillary gets ruptured. And what happens next is the contents of the blood vessel, the contents inside this blood vessel will get out of this wall because there is a rupture in the wall and will get collected over here because the skin is present above. Okay, now this blood will get collected over here and form a clot. So when you see from above, when you see this injured part of your body from your naked eyes, you will find that there is a bluish discoloration on your skin because now this is because there is clot formation inside. Okay. Uh, so, this whole process, okay, is called contusion, okay, when this whole process takes place and the injury which is formed because of this whole process is called as the contusion or bruise. So, this is the type of injury you will find in Arnica, okay, and not only this contusion but also hemorrhage, hemorrhage means blood loss, okay, in simple words, hemorrhage is 
blood loss which may be subcutaneous or external subcutaneous means beneath the skin and external means directly coming out like, like if there is a skin breakage and if the blood comes directly out then also but central part the, the main thing is contusion okay arnica is mainly mainly used in contusion so here you can see that Arnica is using various kinds of injuries. So that is why it is the king of traumatic remedies, right? So other injury remedies also you should know. Also, we should also know the other injury remedies for us to learn, okay? So the other injuries, uh, remedies are conium, calendula, anacardium, hypericum, ledum, rustox, ruta, cephisagria, sulfuric acid, and symphytum. So uh, uh, in the few, in, in the next, the next thing is that uh, Dr. N.M. Chaudhary will differentiate among some of these remedies. So let's go to that part. So he further goes on to differentiate a few remedies and uh, the type of injuries that we find in those remedies. And before going into it, let me first tell you that this is Arnica. Uh, Arnica is a, a beautiful flower actually and it looks like this. Uh, so that is why I have made it. You know, I I feel that when you uh, when you make pictures, when you make drawings, you know, it's easy to uh, remember. It's easy for a person with a picture memory to remember. So that is why I have added all these elements so that you can grasp it all easily and it uh, remains in your mind for a lot uh, more time. And you you need to revise it for sure. Uh, but yeah, it helps. So let's go to it, go into it. Okay. So this is uh, these are the various remedies that he talks about and the in type of injuries. So first of all is conium. Now, this conium is also used in contusional bruise, okay? Just now, we talked about what is a contusion, what is a bruise. So, it is a type of injury. Both are one and the same. It is a type of injury where the blood gets collected in, underneath your skin. Now, if this thing, if this thing happens on the glands, so the affected part in conium is the glands. It can be your mammae, it can be the testes, it can be any gland in the body. But if you got, get contusion or bruise on your glands, the remedy to be thought of is conium. Okay. Or, yes, obviously you should also think of arnica. You should be, you know, think of both arnica and conium, but finally you should be able to differentiate among them on the same, on this very point that glands are affected. And, you and the final remedy should be conium then, okay? Obviously, other symptoms are also considered. But right now, this differentiation point has to be remembered. That the part affected in conium is glands, but the type of injury is contusion or bruise. And what does this injury lead to, okay? So now what, first of all, when the injury happens, the part will get inflamed, okay? And when the part gets inflamed, the reaction to that inflammation in conium especially is induration. Induration is a pathological process which actually is nothing but hardening. Okay, so this, the tissue will get hardened, the gland will get hardened. And that situation is uh, when you have to think of conium. So this is about conium. Next we go to hypericum. So as you can see in the diagram, hypericum is all about pointed objects. So now when we were talking about arnica, we were talking about the blunt instrument injury, right? Whenever any blunt object which does not have any sharp edge cause an injury and your skin doesn't get broken and you have this contusion then you have you were thinking of arnica but now in hypericum we see that there is injury from pointed objects it's it may be from nail on from nails from pins from splinters okay it is from trading on these things trading means pressing on so in this diagram you can find that the leg may just press on this nail and the nail may hurt that person so that is uh, when this situation happens you have to think of hypericum in, and in, it is also used in insect or animal bites and the affected part is nerves along with some soft parts. So, nerves. Now, what? You, how will you know that the nerves have been affected? So, the, the excessive pain that the patient feels will tell you that it's nerves. Because remember this forever that whenever there is excessive, excessive amount of pain out of proportion, it is always a nerve injury, okay? An injury to other parts like glands or any other soft tissues, soft uh, connective tissues of your body won't uh, cause an injury to that level, uh, cause pain to that level as much as a nerve uh, injury causes. So nerve injury will give you a lot of pain. So that happens in hypericum. Then you have to think of hypericum. Then we go to the next remedy which is our uh, symphytum. Now the symphytum uh, uh, is a remedy which has also has in injury from blunt instruments but the affected part can be flat bones most of the times okay so here i have drawn sternum but there may be other flat bones there are other flat bones in our body like there are many flat bones in on your in your skull in your ribs okay so any flat bone gets affected with contagion or bruise yeah or you can always think of sympathy and even in fractures actually 
actually in fractures it is it is famous for uh, in sympatum is famous for fractures so whenever you have a fracture when you whenever your bro bone gets broken then it helps in callus formation okay so it helps in joining the bone back again you know the pieces of the bone will join back again with the help of sympatum but yeah obviously you have to position the bones in the right position first and then you can give the patient sympatum and it will help in callus formation the other thing that sympatum is helpful in is that is for irritable stump after amputation so what is amputation first of all so whenever any patient has uh, you know get the doctor gets his leg cut maybe because he has an, had an accident and his leg got cut by itself only through the accident or the second thing may be that um, he got a necrosis of the leg okay you you might know about diabetic foot so he gets a necrosis of the foot and because of that he has to cut the doctor has to cut it cut the foot so what is necrosis necrosis means uh, sadna okay in hindi it is sadna so ek agar pair sad gaya hai to doctor usko cut kar dete hain and when doctor doctors cut that part it is the remaining part of the part, um, uh, leg okay so this thigh which is remaining now is called as a stump and this process is amputation so this so now after amputation if this patient has any irritation any pain that he feels in the stump then you can give some pitum okay so this is the other this is another indication of uh, sympatum then we go to the next remedy which is ledum so in ledum uh, dr nn choudhary tells us that ledum has injuries from pointed instruments okay so this is also a pointed instrument but here it is creating punctured wounds so directly the pointed instrument goes from one side and comes out from another okay so this is a puncture that he uh, that has been created and that this is a punctured wound so in such kind of uh, uh, you know such kind of injuries you can always think of ledum but we have also talked about hypericum as an as a remedy for pointed object injury so now how to differentiate so he uh, himself gives a point over there he says that intense coldness is the red strand of this remedy what is the meaning of red strand it is the most characteristic thing of this remedy so what happens is uh, when you touch uh, on this area okay where the wound has taken place you it will be cold to touch it will be very cold to touch there is intense coldness in this remedy so normally whenever you have an injury the part gets inflamed and because of the inflammation it should always be hot like the normal uh, patho uh, genesis will tell you that it should be hot but in this remedy it is cold in this patient it is cold to touch and that is what is characteristic for this remedy and therefore you can think of ledum in those cases and anacardium is also useful but it is useful in uh, tendons so whenever you have an injury of tendons what is tendon it will join join a bone to a muscle of that tendon when whenever gets injured you have to think of the remedy anacardium okay so this was the differentiate differentiation that dr nn choudhury gives us he differentiates conium hypericum symphytum ledum and anacardium all right so let's go ahead and talk about the greatest feature of this remedy now you can just imagine dr nn choudhury himself is such a great doctor and this great doctor okay so what does he feel is the greatest feature of arnica isn't it very interesting and uh, don't you feel curious to know about it like what must what is that symptom which he finds to be most characteristic so it is intense sensitiveness due to excessive pain okay let's split this uh, symptom and understand so first of all let's take excessive pain now what is excessive pain in this remedy so every remedy has certain type of pain that belongs to it so every remedy will present you present to you with a type of pain now what is the type of pain that you find in arnica it is sore lame bruised sensation all over the body as if beaten okay so this is the type of pain that arnica feels in excessive proportion so excessive pain what is this sore lame bruised all over so think about it that you have been beaten badly beaten all over your body now how will you feel won't your muscles become sore and pain a lot now also you can imagine that you have gone on a hike or you have gone on a trekking and uh, when you come down when you come back your back to your home and all your muscles are paining all your body is in pain and that type of pain when your muscles get sore is exactly the type of pain the patient of arnica will feel whether or not he has gone to a trekking whether or not he has an injury okay this pain will be present in this patient in all of his disease conditions almost all of his disease conditions so whether he has typhoid whether he has malaria whether he has an injury or whether he has 
any other condition may be he has nephritis may be he has whatever may be the disease condition whatever may be the diagnosis he will have this feeling okay this pain sore limb bruised feeling all over as if beaten now what happens is because of this pain his whole body aches and pains and when his whole body aches and pains what is the consequence he does not like liking lying down because all his muscles are in pain he he won't you know he doesn't just doesn't want uh, you know to lie down for any pressure to be there on his uh, muscles so everything he lies down on seems hard and uncomfortable because his muscles are sore so whatever wherever he lies he will feel that the part is very hard it is very uncomfortable and now just to get some comfort he will constantly change his position first of all he will try to go from right side to left side from left to right and then when he think when when you when he understands that even going from going on from side to side is not helping at all he still is feeling that the bed is hard he will change his bed and try you know try changing his bed but even trying changing his bed won't help him even change, after changing his bed he will feel that the bed is hard only one thing can help him which is giving him a dose of arnica okay so after giving him arnica he won't feel that it is hard and he will find a soft place finally and you can end his uh, suffering by giving him arnica if you know the symptom so then this was the for excessive pain part of the remedy now of the symptom now we go to the intense sensitiveness so what is intense sensitiveness that this patient is very sensitive to this pain okay he will he will feel that if anybody comes because in if anybody comes to him even unintentionally even inadvertently if anybody comes to him and touches him or strikes him he will get a lot of pain because already his muscles are sore and now if anybody touches it touches it even unintentionally it will be a lot of uh, suffering for him so he will be in a constant dread of people approaching him he will he will always fear that if anybody comes and approaches me what will happen if anybody comes and touches me strikes me what will happen i will have a lot of pain and that is why you know he'll always uh, be in this fear and he'll always want people to stay away from him so this is the greatest feature of this remedy as per dr nm choudhury so you shouldn't ever forget about this symptom because yeah dr nm choudhury and even actually right now we're talking about uh, learning from dr nm choudhury but as and when we learn about other authors also what they speak about arnica you'll always and you will understand that he every author tells us this thing that there is this typical pain in arnica which you shouldn't ever forget this is the most characteristic feature of arnica okay this uh, pain if you have in uh, your patient you have to think of arnica so this is how uh, he tells us about the greatest feature of this remedy and now let's go ahead okay um, so nm choudhury further talks about the typhoid fever or any type of debilitating fever if the patient goes through then what are the symptoms that he presents with so in arnica there is apathy and stupefaction okay apathy and stupefaction now normally we always think of phosphoric acid for or any you know all the acids for this type of uh, symptoms okay apathy and uh, indifference and if we think of indifference uh, especially in a chronic case in uh, at the mind level for a longer time we have uh, we always think of sepia but here we also uh, learn that arnica is a also a remedy which has apathy and stupefaction especially in the fever state and it it is uh, since the beginning of the fever it is present okay the apathy so what is actually apathy apathy is uh, actually a feeling of not being interested it is indifference what is the meaning of difference matlab if agar hum log hindi mein bole to it is farak na padna wo kisi bhi cheez ka farak nahi padta hai unko so apathy is complete lack of interest or lack of you know enthusiasm indifference what is stupefaction stupefaction is a state in which you know the person is unable to think clearly you know it is he is not able to he is in confusion and that is all because he has fever or he because he is you know completely bored or tired that is stupefaction so apathy and stupefaction is present in uh, fever of arnica since the beginning the breath is very foul smelling breath okay ecamat ecamotic spots are present on the whole body which means that there is bluish dark color spots on all over the body and sometimes even yellow green spots on the skin are there uh, the patient is unconscious so in fever the patient will fall unconscious okay and there is involuntary stool and urination so without the you know without the voluntary control the patient will pass his stool and urine 
is distension of abdomen rumbling and gurgling during stool so now as we go further we'll know that it is a very good remedy for dyspepsia and that is uh, seen also in the fever now you can uh, you know see and, and in typhoid you always have abdomen related symptoms so there's distension of abdomen rumbling and gurgling during stool etc bruised feeling so as i told you it is the main typical feeling of uh, arnica so this will be present in every condition so in typhoid also this, this bruised feeling is present then this symptom is very important symptom intense heat of head with coldness of the rest of the body this symptom has been taught by all the authors you know and nobody has left it so it is very very important what happens the patient's head is very hot if you touch it and all the, all the other parts of the body are cold to touch okay in fever and this confusion of ideas slow delirium there's great restlessness in this patient okay so these were the common uh, these were the general points about fever in typhoid then he goes on to differentiate the remedies now because you know that arnica peptica and acid fos that is phosphoric acid all have certain symptoms in common but how should we differentiate arnica then that is what he tells us so what are the common symptoms in all the three the patient falls asleep while answering questions so what happens that now the patient is you know in this delirious state where he is falling unconscious as well and in that state when you ask the patient any question so while answering uh, you know to your question he will fall asleep or he will go in, in you know you, you will fall unconscious and that is what happens in all these three remedies then all three remedies get restless as we have talked about arnica changing the bed will you know affect them they will keep on changing because they want a soft soft spot okay soft bed and they will toss about in bed the bed will feel too hard and apathy and indifference which we have already talked about so all these points are commonly present in all these three remedies and how will you differentiate arnica the differentiate point for arnica is first that there is great sensitiveness present in arnica arnica won't want anybody to come near him to touch him you know he has this fear of people approaching him because he is extremely sensitive his this excessive pain is uh, giving him this sensitiveness and second is great difference in temperature of body and head as we have spoken earlier this this intense heat of the head with coldness of the rest of the body so that is also present only in arnica so this is how you can differentiate it so going ahead dr n choudhury very beautifully explains the fever of arnica in its all its details so if the patient has any any malarial fever or intermittent any type of intermittent fever then what will be the stages and what will be the symptoms in each stage so remember fever always has three stages chill heat and sweat मतलब फीवर नॉर्मली हैज दिस थ्री स्टेजेस बट इन ईच ऑफ द रेमेडी द फीवर मे प्रेजेंट डिफरेंटली सो इन सम रेमेडीज यू विल फाइंड दैट ओनली द हीट स्टेज इज प्री डोमिनेंटली प्रेजेंट एंड देर इज नो चिल स्टेज ओके इन सम रेमेडीज यू विल फाइंड देर इज नो स्वेट स्टेज सो इट वेरीज बट जनरली फीवर हैज दीज थ्री स्टेजेस मेनली प्रेजेंट दैट इज हीट स्वेट एंड चिल एंड प्रोड्रोमल स्टेज इज ऑल्सो देर वॉट इज प्रोड्रोमल स्टेज इट इज द स्टेज विच यू नो इज लाइज बिफोर actual fever takes place so whatever other basic and other few symptoms which happen before the actual fever you know before the patient actually gets the fever that is the prodromal stage so now talking about this uh, fever of arnica in the prodromal stage there are drawing pains in the periosteum so what is periosteum periosteum is nothing but the connective tissue which covers our bones and in those uh, you know periosteum that connective tissue we have this drawing pains you know uh, drawing pains means what so in hindi the patient will say that khichao mehsoos ho raha hai aise lag raha hai ki khich raha hai bahut dard ho raha hai aur khichao mehsoos ho raha hai to unke bones mein dard hoga prodromal stage mein aur khichao mehsoos hoga so that is malaria uh, that is in arnica so arnica will feel these drawing pains in the periosteum in the prodromal stage then we go to the chill stage in chill stage dr nm chaudhary explains that the chill stage in arnica starts from the pit of the stomach so what does this mean starts from so whenever the patient has chill if you ask him the question so first of all where, where did you feel the chill in your body so this patient will say that i felt it in the stomach so first of all i felt the chill in the stomach some patients will tell you that they felt it in their uh, extremities okay some will tell you that they felt in their so yeah, felt it in their soles so that will be very specific if they tell you so uh, every remedy has uh, you know some kind of symptom so chill begins from this part or that part in that way uh, arnica has this symptom that the chill begins from the pit of the stomach uh, in the chill stage the patient again has the very characteristic symptom of arnica which is a sore bruised pain 
so as i told you in every condition this uh, symptom will be there and that is why it is the most characteristic symptom of of hernia okay so in the same way here also they will have this kind of pain thirst for large quantities of cold water so there will be a lot of thirst for large quantities of cold water especially in the chill stage they will have this thirst okay uh and cold water so normally whenever a patient is you know feeling chilly he will never want to drink cold water but this is very characteristic of arnica that even in, in the chill stage he wants to drink cold water and heat and in the heat stage what is there is soreness of flesh again the same thing bruised sore feeling in the muscles that is present it is very intense and therefore he becomes restless we know the whole story you know why he becomes restless etc so that same thing happens in heat stage as well heat is sometimes intolerable or intolerable He th- now this is very interesting this you should remember this point you should remember so in this point you will know that he throws his covers off you should remember this point he throws his covers off but feels chilly okay what happens is first uh, because he has this heat stage okay his temperature has risen so he will throw his cover off he doesn't want to cover his body but when he throws the covers off what he feels is he feels chilly he feels that abhi thandi lag rahi hai ओके इट इज सेम हमको नक्सवामी का एपिस में भी ये सेम देखने मिलता है तो वो पहले उनको लगता है कि उनको बहुत गर्मी हो रही है तो वो अपने कवर्स को थ्रो कर देते हैं अपने ब्लैंकेट को निकाल देते हैं और जब वो ब्लैंकेट को निकालते हैं तो उनको बहुत ज़्यादा चिली लगने लगता है और उनको फिर से कवर करना पड़ता है सो दिस स्टोरी ओके इट हैपन्स इन अर्निका इन द हीट स्टेज सो यू शुड रिमेंबर वेन एवर यू फाइंड सच सिम्टम्स ऑल दो सिम्टम्स आर प्रेजेंट इन योर पेशेंट यू कैन ऑलवेज थिंक ऑफ अर्निका Okay, and if this symptom is present, you will think of Arnica nakswamika and apis. So this is very, this is a very important symptom. And in chill, the uh, the first symptom that is it starts from the pit of the stomach is important, and the thirst is important. Then we go to the sweat stage. So in the sweat stage, which follows the heat stage, sweat is sore, fetid, and often so very bad, you know, smelling sweat is present in Arnica. Uh, now uh, th- there are some common points which are present in the fever of arnica are that the taste is putrid as of rotten eggs so they will the taste is as if they have you know eaten rotten eggs so that type of taste will be there in their mouth the head and face are hot to touch and the rest of the body is cold to touch the head and the face will be hot and body will be clo- uh, cold and this point you shouldn't ever forget for arnica this is a very important point of arnica you shouldn't forget one cheek is red and hot to touch and one cheek is pale and cold one cheek is red and hot and one cheek is pale and cold so this is also a very important symptom okay so uh, this was the f- last topic for this part of arnica uh, the further topics are also there which will talk about the pregnancy urinary organs the cuff of arnica etc and we'll uh, we'll see them ahead but right now let's just revise in short whatever we have learned up till now so the first thing that we have learned for about arnica montana was the was the thing that annika is actually called it is called as the king of traumatic remedies right so king of traumatic remedies then we learned the type of pain that annika feels the very characteristic type of pain which is sore right lame bruised sensation right as if beaten and what was the mo- uh, what was the differentiation that we have learned we have learned about conium right hypericum we've learned about symphytum symphytum had that callus formation bones were broken and then uh, the bones could be again you know with the help of symphytum they they are very very easily callus formation takes place we have learned about ledum which had uh, this pointed instruments injury hypericum also had pointed instruments injury but hypericum affected the nerves and in ledum we have seen that there was uh, the wounds became cold right and then we have also learned about anacardium which had action on tendons and we have learned about conium which had action on glands okay then we have seen that there is this pain and because of this pain the patient will be extremely sensitive they will not want every anybody to come near them they will not want anybody to approach them after that after this main thing we have learned about the typhoid fever the malarial fever right the typhoid fever and the malarial fever what did we learn in typhoid fever we had some abdominal symptoms and the main things in the fevers which were there were that they will do involuntary stool and urination involuntary stool and urination will take place they will be you know in delirium and they will be in delirium they will be in, they will have apathy apathy confusion 
and then they will have this very important symptom which was the head will be hot but the body will be cold to touch right and then we have learned uh, about the differentiation between arnica baptisia and acid fast they have many common symptoms but the differentiation is arnica will be first of all very sensitive and there will be great difference in their uh, temperature between their head and body next we came to the malarial fevers and the very different very you know specific stages that we had in the fever the first was prodromal stage and is in this prodromal stage there was drawing pain in the periosteum right and then there was this chill stage that we have seen in a chill state we had seen that the chill will start from the stomach and there was thirst which was for cold water large quantities of cold water right and then we have seen that the sore base bruised feeling is almost present in all stages anyway and then we have seen heat stage in the heat stage again the sore bruised feeling was there and he throws his covers off so that whole story he will throw the cover off and then feel chilly then again we will we will need to take the cover and we had seen the remedies which were also there in this it was nakswamika and apis both these oh sorry sorry both these will have the same feeling right and then in the final that is the sweat stage we had seen that the sweat is sour and offensive right okay the taste that these patients will have is rotten eggs taste so this is the whole summary of this part we'll go to the next part now